G'day YouTube, this is just a quick comparison between the latest release of Ubuntu on the left, uh, Ubuntu 18.04, and the latest release of Linux Mint, uh, Linux Mint 19 on the right. So pretty much I'll get into it. Now as you can see straight off the bat there are some obvious differences and that's the desktop environment. As you can see here Ubuntu is using the GNOME desktop environment whereas we have Cinnamon on uh, Linux Mint 19. So both have their respective default desktop environments from left to right on each of these screens here. Uh, moving on, let's just check out the file managers and see what they look like there. So let's see if we can open that up. Uh, Mint already seems a bit snappier, but uh, this isn't quite a test on snappiness. Now, as we'll see here, we're actually running uh, the Nautilus, or rather the GNOME Files file manager there on the left with Ubuntu, and on the right with Linux, uh, we're actually running Nemo. And if we were to jump in and check, we would find Nemo, the version, and files there for Ubuntu. So nothing too special there. They are fairly similar in design. I would say that uh, the Ubuntu one probably maybe looks a little bit more sleek, but uh, moving on. Next of all, let's have a check out to see what's going on with the kernels. So if I were to pump in the uh, uh, command there on each of the uh, windows, we'll find that they are both running the latest version. And the proper or interesting thing about this is that it is in fact using the uh, the Ubuntu base, Linux Mint 19 on the right, and I've got to remember to name that out in the video, is actually using the, the base that is Bionic, uh, the Bionic uh, base of Ubuntu on the left here. In fact, if I were to do another command, let's see, we'll see that we are using the Bionic 18.4 base for Ubuntu on Ubuntu, obviously, because it's Ubuntu, <laughs> and on the uh, right hand side with Linux Mint, we are using that as the base, but the, the front end, the main packages come from Tar, there, Tara, should I say. So that's pretty much it uh, in terms of that. Now, speaking of the usage or the ability to uh, chew up resources, let's see how they both look. This is definitely by no means a uh, a uh, scientific method here, but straight off the bat we can already see uh, a couple of different things happening here. Now there's no other applications open. We can see Ubuntu uh, straight off the bat is using 937 megabytes of data in this uh, particular case. And uh, Cinnamon, barely not even using 400, uh, which is uh, quite the difference between the two default desktop environments for each of the respective operating system so that's pretty much interesting as well and probably last but not least I'll uh, show you guys the update method for installing something anything in the terminal it's actually going to be the exact same for both so let's just say we want to install that we go uh, whoopsie daisy sudo apt install hdoc as well and we'll run the password so pretty much it's the apt command in order to uh, for the update method there they both use the Debian packages both based off Ubuntu no surprises there so that's pretty much it guys just a super sip, uh, simple and quick video to show you guys uh, the, the differences, the, the obvious differences at least between Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Uh, the cool thing about the, the latest release of Linux Mint, which only came out in the last couple of days or so in terms of the beta at least, is it's got a much more crisp and clear design. I do like the direction what they're, uh, they're actually going with in that case. Uh, it's just a few updates here and there. I've got other videos on uh, the actual changes, but I just thought I'd uh, give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two operating systems that are some of the two of the most popular distributions, one of which is based off the other, that is being Linux Mint 19 based off of Ubuntu. But that's pretty much it, guys. Super si simple, quick uh, comparison look at the two. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.